happening. And you bet, you with are. me now, commercial pilot and flight instructor Philip Holloway. Uh, good evening. Uh, it is. Uh, it's good to have you here. Where do you think this plane is now? Well, if I do that, I guess we could stop the show right now. Here's the thing. This is a criminal case. Uh, this requires a criminal investigation. The investigation has to base, be based on facts and not assumptions, as the previous guest said. As lawyers, you and I know that when you assume things, you oftentimes don't get okay. to the truth. All right. What well, you have to we have know is that. facts. We know all that. But here's the question. Based upon the facts as we know them now, that the transponder, according to the Malaysian government, was intentionally turned off. The fact that uh, we haven't heard from this airline, the fact that there was a pre-programmed turn uh, on this plane, I mean, what does that tell you? Well, I don't know that we have established there was a pre-programmed turn. Uh, there was some satellite data and there's some radar data that may have been this plane. It's not been conclusively established that it was this plane. What we do know uh, is I think that there it has, has not been. been I, I think that they've indicated that there was a pre programmed turn. Uh, but I agree with you that, with respect to the radar data, that we're not sure that it was this plane. But go ahead. Well, it, there's not been one piece of wreckage found nowhere. I understand that it's a very large search area. In fact, it's larger than the United States. But we still don't have any evidence to suggest this plane crashed. We haven't found any debris, and we don't have any indicators from either of the emergency locator transmitters that we know were on that airplane, and that if it had crashed, those things would be going off. And all these assets that we have searching for it, they would be finding it. And so my guess, and it's a guess, I believe that in the absence of any evidence of a crash, I think the aircraft was stolen. And if it was stolen, it raises the question, why and who stole it? And where is it? And how do you hide it? And what's going to be done with it next? And these are all very frightening questions that somebody's going to have to find the answer to through a proper investigation based on facts. Philip, uh, quickly, do we know if the Malaysian government has given us a manifest of what was in that cargo hold? What was that plane carrying? Because if we go to the sinister who took it and why, we need to know what was on that plane. That's true, and I think that the manifest probably has already been circulated amongst the various agencies that are looking into it. I think that the more probable explanation, if you're going to steal a Boeing 777, you're not going to use it for personal pleasure use. You're probably going to use it as a, a weapon of mass destruction. It's, it becomes the perfect delivery vehicle for a bomb or a cruise missile or something like that. And it, we just don't know what's going to happen with it next. And every day uh, going forward is not good news, I suspect, uh, for the families of, uh, and the loved ones of those on the plane. I agree, and I think that the, in all likelihood, if this aircraft was stolen, I suspect that the souls that were on board that air, aircraft have been lost. Oh, God, let's hope not. Anyway, Philip Holloway, thanks so much for being with us this evening.